Hi, I'm Stavros and welcome to Dennehy Commercials here on the Dock Road in Limerick, Ireland. So I'll be taking you on a tour of a bunch of brand new trucks they have here. Concrete mixers, rigid trucks, and these tractor units for Maher. Brand new T-High 520 Evos, the DTI 13 litre engines. So we'll start off with them and I'll show you. They have a brand new SDC trailer here and a used trailer as well. If you're interested in a used curtain cider trailer, new MAN vans, Renault vans. They even have an Isuzu 4x4 here as well, the D-Max. So yeah, let's check out some trucks guys and then we're going to Lanzarote. Yes, I want to say goodbye to the doom and gloom of this Irish weather and go to the sun of Lanzarote. We'll be touring around there. You'll see that in this video. Okay, let's check out some trucks first before we get that plane. There is the key for the T-High 520. Lock, unlock and you can close all the windows if they're left open when you lock the truck and we can do a light test there is no ignition when you hop inside the cab to turn it's a push button start so I'll show you that when we hop inside so yeah nicely specified trucks here going to matter and we have these six spotlights up on the roof sitting on the light bar another light bar underneath the front bumper and I like the LED lamps there at the front as well so they're sitting on 55 profile super singles on the steer axle and on the mid lift and we have a 70 profile on the drive axle and we have two diesel tanks 910 litre capacity between the two of them so that's pretty good for a 6x2 your add blue tank and your matching pod for the air conditioning as well I like the way it matches in with the exterior colour so we're just gonna hop inside uh, I'll just will I yeah I'll open that and yeah you gotta do a double click just to open up the passenger side so yeah let me just give you a look at the side locker here as well so that stays open with this bar so you can let it go and it's quite spacious this one it's not a bad size I know it's very dark you can't really see in there but I assure you it's a good size both of these are slightly smaller on the driver side as well so let me just give you a look at this one the top locker here yeah, so there's decent enough space in this one. It is a bit smaller on the driver's side, so let's just close that up. Now, I'm gonna hop inside. We have the four steps going up into the cab, and then this nice handy handle here for the small kids hopping up as well. Let's hop inside and have a look at the T-High 520. So yeah, I'm six foot two. I can easily stand up here. I must have about five inches above my head and your lockable storage there and your three lockers each of which have light lamps inside them as well so let's just show you yeah it has a starter switch here so i can just press it once just to start up the ignition and then i just press the brake pedal and then press it again and then it should start up there we go Renault trucks T high 520 and your electronic handbrake be very careful nothing falls on this when you're taking stuff out of the top locker because it can get damaged so be careful with that now as I said before in a previous video the left-hand drive trucks are a different design of a dashboard to the right-hand drive trucks on the left-hand drive this is integrated into the dashboard and it has a very nice phone holder as well on the left hooker but on the right hooker here it's uh we don't really get that nice dashboard oh yeah nice horn the bridge here as well uh press it again to get it out further so it's a uh, not a bad size fridge and i do like the holders there for drinks uh that's a nice touch inside of the fridge and yeah your manuals in there and the top bunk yeah so that folds down and then this half folds up so you can use it as a shelf but the lights in these trucks are very good. Yeah, all your controls here for the mirrors and your windows. They do have one touch up and one touch down. You can see the way it's set up for left hooker. So it's easier for the left hand drive uh, drivers to get over here into the middle than it is for the uh, right hand drive. Because you see, when you're hopping out here, this thing here is in the way. <laughs> Whereas over on the left hookers, it's nice, easy access into the middle. Okay, let's knock it off and we'll hop outside 
plenty more trucks to show you so let's be careful opening it up there and I'm gonna hop down nice and carefully because I just want to show you the lockers here on this side on the driver's side so you see that this one is smaller than the passenger side so you're losing a bit of space on that one and then the driver's side one so yeah slightly smaller on both lockers on the driver's side so that's an electric fifth wheel you just press a button on the dash and you can use your trailer just to slide it up and back so that's handy and I do like the bar as well for holding the Susie's yeah I'd like one of them on the S580 one last look at the exterior of these trucks yeah so the bar underneath the bumper goes the whole way around you'll see it there yeah, that's quite good yeah all the specification on these ones and they'll be hitting the road very soon uh, I think dark blue is probably the best color for a curtain cider trailer I would probably go even darker maybe that color for a curtain cider and we've got a bunch of Renault vans chassis and cabs even this tipper van here and the TGE van and the big master van and we have the C430 the DTI 11 so we've got a 440 and a 480 down here the DTI 13s and best of luck to Capiquin Logistics with their brand new TGM 18 250 the rigid and I like the painted grill that's nicely done then we have a TGM 15 250 chassis and cab just waiting for its body now we have another at a Scania R series pulling out there hey <laughs> and uh, yeah the Isuzu D Max as well the pickup brand new here at Denny's if you're interested and the T480 Comfort so basically the same as the two that we have on the Rory Lynch transport fleet ours are 4x2 this is a 6x2 then we have the C480 DTI 13 the concrete mixer truck the Lieber so yeah sitting on uh, Bridgestone tires and all the aluminium wheels and plastic diesel tank then we have the C440 so slightly smaller in horsepower than the C480 this is also 13 litre engine this has the conveyor system for delivering the concrete as well from the mixer so it pours from the mixer onto the conveyor and it can extend out 11.5 meters which is quite good this one is sitting on steel wheels both trucks are on Bridgestone tires and your add blue tank is on the driver's side and there's also a plastic diesel tank on this one on the passenger side bunch more new trucks here all getting ready for 2023 registration this is this C480 with its Gleason tipper body nice tidy body there by Gleason's truck bodies check them out so let's just open up this this has the Zepro tail lift at the back on the rigid MAN let's just open up this and have a look inside the body so this is pillarless now pillarless is fine on a rigid truck I would not recommend it for a trailer a 45 foot curtain side or trailer do not get pillarless but on rigid trucks they're fine nice non-slip grip on that and your little handle there for hopping up on your remote for the tail lift at the rear close the body up yeah so that body is by Fitzgerald's and they're based in County Cork and that's the TGM 18 250 so the very same as the one that Capiquin Logistics are getting and a brand new MEN the TGX 18 510 it's got a light bar up on top with four spots and the air horns there at the side as well we have two diesel tanks with 580 litres and 460 uh, yeah pretty standard enough after that and let's just stand back the 4x2 give you a look at the MAN yeah pretty nice truck so yeah that is how it looks at Denny's and best of luck to Conway Transport with their brand new TGE the MAN okay so that's where I'm gonna leave you today from Denny commercials here on the dock road in Limerick let's just do a lockup of the T High 520 yeah quite nice the sequence when it's being locked up there so new trucks used trucks used trailers new trailers make sure you contact martin hawk here at denny commercials 
So yeah, I think we need to put the doom and gloom of Irish weather behind us now guys and get a bit of sun. I need to get my t-shirt on and get some suntan, you know, like I really do tan, don't I? But anyway, <laughs> let's get on a plane and check out Lanzarote. I've never been before, but yeah, we'll see what it's all about. Okay, we're just going to spot a few planes now. They're landing in very low into the island here and we're just going to see what that's like so you can go over there and they'll fly right over your head so we'll get a few shots of that and then we're going driving down the main prom in Lanzarote so you'll see all the shops and all the palm trees it's going to be very nice let's check it out He's got an old helicopter in the back of his house. Like, what is that? A weird. Just on the main promenade here, the main strip in Lanzarote, and there are an awful lot of old cars here in Lanzarote. Look at this old Beetle here, convertible. And we saw a very nice Toyota Land Cruiser yesterday, one of the early generation ones, which are actually worth a fair few bob back in Ireland. Now we're in Porta del Carmen at the moment. At the very end of this strip, you can do a walk around the cliff edge you could nearly say that'll bring you all the way over to Porto Calero and you can get a water taxi from there back to here which I recommend because there's a very entertaining woman on board she'll have you laughing all right uh, yeah so as you can see there's loads of shops here like loads of tack <laughs> answer the phone you can get knockoff <laughs> Calvin Klein and Gucci and Michael Kors knockoff stuff it's all it's not even legit but then there are legit shops where you can buy all this stuff and there's an awful lot of cheap stuff and the food is cheap but the sunscreen is not cheap it's more or less the same price as it is in Ireland but I have to say like Lanzarote all of the plants and the trees are just fantastic it's just so nicely done and they really do look after the place. Now, of course, there's no grass growing, so you're not gonna hear any lawnmowers. There is a cycle lane the whole length of the strip. So you can hire these e-scooters or else hire bicycles. There's bicycles that have four seats in them as well. And it's a very nice way to see the strip. And lovely scenery, of course. See all the hills. Remind me of the hills in Killarney. <laughs> So the whole length of the strip must be a couple of miles long. So you'd be a while walking up and down it. Okay, we're just at a petrol station here, filling up with diesel. In case you're wondering how much it is, it's one euro 47 cent a liter for diesel. So we're just filling up the Porsche Cayenne. Pretty nice car. Yeah, diesel. And a bit of poke out of it, which is nice. So if you ever do think of coming to Lanzarote, you definitely have to hire a car to get around, just to take in more of the island. But this is such an unusual place. Like thousands of acres of lava and untouched. Obviously it's all, you know, preserved or, you know, you're not, you're not allowed to build anything out here, but it's just like, look, look at the stone here. Look, <laughs> it's just so weird, just looking at it all all the different colors and you'll see a redness as well up on the hills here 
that's all the dust that would have erupted out of the volcanoes and just rested on the hills but uh, yeah very unusual place surrounded by camels I'm about to hop on one and go for a ride up along the hills here surrounded by volcanoes yeah it's a bit weird the way they kneel down here just so you can hop on board nice and easy there's loads of camels look at all of them look <laughs> and a bunch of people coming in there as well yeah so this is going to be weird <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit of a weird feeling, all right. <laughs> On the back of a camel. There's people behind us as well. But it's uh, <laughs> just a bit bouncy. <laughs> I'm sure, where would you be going on the back of a camel? <laughs> well, up that hill is where we're going. You know, passing all the other people now on camels. Wow, there's so many of them. The whole way down the hill. <laughs> okay, so the camel ride is done. That was a lot of fun going up the hill there. So it's one of those things you have to do if you come to Lanzarote, just get on a camel. Sort of like when you go to Venice, you have to get on a gondola. If you want to see my Venice video, click on this link up here and check that out. Anyway, we're gonna go back into Lanzarote. We've more to see in town. the old Mercedes and the Ivecos and the Scania 113H and I just pulled in here just to get a quick shot of the old Mercedes truck here the 1928 the tanker and then over here look at this now you never see these roaming around Ireland the 124C 360 the Scania T cab a day cab tipper truck yeah very rare sight even in the UK you'd hardly see these going around at all but you know I just thought I'd pull in just for a quick shot. Now you'll see an awful lot of these car parks around Lanzarote they're all just dust no lines so it's every man and woman to themselves as to where they park but uh, there is a parking attendant here which is probably a good idea because there's a car over there with its window wide open no one around it so yeah but it's, it is a bit weird like you just park anywhere. I'm here in Playa Blanca, I'm here in the water. There is the lovely beach, all the people sunbathing. So can there be anything said for like a pair of white legs? Everyone's going around with brown legs. You know, like our white legs. <laughs> uh, but I won't be sunbathing, no, no. And I won't be putting on my speedos. You know, I'd rather spare the uh, Lanzarote people, you know, that visual spectacle. Loads of fish in the water here. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So get out your fishing rod. It's probably illegal. <laughs> in fact, I've, no, I've seen no fishing going on at all around here. We're back in the wild, looking at the heron. About to kill a fish for its dinner. Okay, we've just pulled into a petrol station just to fill up and that is the price of diesel and petrol. So yeah, a bit cheaper than Ireland. We've got all these weird looking plants as well. So these are the plants you'll see all around Lanzarote. All these weird shaped plants. But uh, yeah, pretty cool to see. Look at this one, it's like a swan's neck. So make sure you come down to Mirador del Rio for these fantastic views. Now one thing you won't find all around this land, there are no cows, there are no sheep. You'll probably see the odd goat, but they import all their meat, obviously. But uh, yeah, very nice, beautiful day. It's not too hot, not too cold. Around 20 odd degrees, just perfect. Okay, so we've come to this place called Playa Honda and it's full of old classic cars. I've never seen any place like this before. It's just a showroom 
on the side of this main road and it's just loads of classics so we'll just have a quick look around it got this weird looking buggy here <laughs> classic opals parked all around the front of this building and this weird looking car as well I don't know what make and model this is pretty cool then we have the classic Jaguar beside it and a couple of sports cars from Opel as well and the GT and this very unusual model as well I don't think I've ever seen this particular Opel sports car before but this GT I mean they're sought after classic then we have the Land Rover and the Fiat Panda and the Ford Fiesta and then this Cadillac and the XJ Jag Volkswagen Scirocco loads of Opel models here the Opel Record and the Ford Capri uh, Volvo 480 and this is an old Triumph as well <laughs> very unusual to see all of these cars just parked up here they're dotted around with all these lights just to attract people in and the Opel Omega and this this is an Opel as well would you believe but I've no idea what country is this was sold in but it's it's a very long car the Opel as well and yeah so many classics the Chrysler there yeah so you really have to come to this place if you like your cars and plenty more as well parked up down there uh, what have we got here uh, the Volvo the 124 as well and oh we have a plane coming in not the Cadillac let's get a shot of this coming in okay we better head away uh, we're, we've got some more sights to see okay we're just heading over to the Grand Hotel the 17th floor and we're gonna have something to eat and just overlook all the Atlantic Ocean and Lanzarote there should be some lovely views up here so let's see what it's like okay so we've just parked underneath the hotel so there's a big huge underground car park underneath this big hotel so we're going to go up to the 17th floor and see what we're just going to have lunch there today and they also serve dinner on the other side of the hotel nice fancy tables and fantastic views let's go up and have a look Okay, we're here outside Hotel Farione's five-star hotel and they have all these little model houses and <laughs> supposed to look like lava flowing down off one of the hills yeah pretty nice <laughs> all lit up and all pretty cool feature to have outside the hotel and all the water here look pretty cool all the models there nice feature outside the hotel okay so i just came to porta de claro or porta de carmen <laughs> porto <laughs> del carmen <laughs> yeah. Yeah. porto del carmen okay i had to get the cliche sunset shot yeah so we have to walk down hand in hand in the beach now and do that cliche shot that everyone does but there you go isn't it beautiful and you can see fort aventura in the background there and there's a water taxi, bus, whatever you call it, just heading over there as well. But that's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll chat to you all again next time for another video. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers!